สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone Thai Girl k i d and f o r e i g n e r Joe hope all is well how are we doing we are doing great thank you we are going to give you a little update on the health show today okay, so we are at uh, one of our favorite restaurants having lunch you know how Thai food is we get a lot and we are here with some subscriber Jean Pierre just retired hi everybody his beautiful oh. girlfriend Penny mm -hmm. we're going to check out the property but after lunch we'll talk. It is going to uh, be raining here over the next two weeks, maybe even into next month. Uh, we have Sung Krang happening right now this week for the next three or four days. So uh, yeah, it's, um, things will slow down a little bit. Sitting here, I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. But during this slow time, I am going to start posting or reposting videos from the old Foreigner Joe channel. A lot of folks been asking about the informational videos, things that are relevant. Some of our old travel videos, me getting my driver's license, um, when I got my shoulder surgery. How that worked? How was the medical care, um, transportation to the airport, in and around the airport in Bangkok area, things of that nature? So we will repost all of those videos. Uh, appreciate you watching them, but if you don't want to watch them, feel free not to. We understand some of you may have seen these videos before. Forty percent of our viewership are subscribed to the channel, so if you're not subscribed already, appreciate if you do subscribe. But the other six, 60% are just folks that come in and out on occasion, and they'll watch the video. Some of them may not even seen the channel, so the videos that I repost will be new to them. Not for everyone, but I think about 60% of the audience will be new to seeing those videos. So I promised I was going to do that a while back. I was going to do three or four a week. I really haven't done that. What I'm going to do in the next week is I'm probably going to post two videos a day, maybe every 12 hours. Again. If you have time, please feel free to watch it. But if you don't, that that's fine unless you've already seen it. Okay, let's do a little update on the house. The walls are going up good. See, everything's enclosed there with the brick right now. They're working on this side, finishing up the brick on that side. They got the complete top finished. So this wall, they'll complete this wall all the way down to the fence line. Once the swimming pool and everything's finished, and they have to just start doing the uh, concrete out here, tiling, outside tiling and everything. Swati so, Cup, good morning. So let's see if we could see someone inside here. Okay, so this is the guest bedroom to the right. This open area here will be a enclosed glass sliding door. 
a lot of light in. We have had three windows in here, but we closed one in. Actually, when we came back from our little trip in Koh Samui, sweaty cup, the lady working up there. When we came back from our trip in Koh Samui, I thought they were going to do a small closet, but they actually did a big walk-in closet. Um, basically from this wall line here over, made the room a lot smaller, so we tore down that closet, closed in the window that was over there, and uh, over here in the corner, we're just going to do a built-in desk, if you will. Anyone visits and they want to sit down, do makeup, or work on a, on a computer or whatever, could do it in that area. The bed will probably be on this wall, on this side. And then on this side, we'll have a TV or something. We'll see. So here's the Jack and Jill ensuite. I'm going to turn my flashlight on to make sure we can see in there. Jack and Jill ensuite. Jack and Jill means the bathroom is shared from the guest bedroom as well as any guests inside the house. So uh, this little corner right here, that will be come out. They'll chop that out. They had that when they um, did the walk-in closet. So now the shower will be bigger, which is good. And then we have a window right there for the outside. So, yeah. Be a little sink, the toilet, and the shower. Go back around here to the front deck or the front porch. This is the front porch, of course. It should be very big. We'll have stairs on this side as well as on the other side. This will actually be our entrance where this lady is finishing uh, laying a brick. I'm going to crawl under there, hopefully not hit my head. And go into the other guest bedroom right here. So this is the second guest bedroom to the left as you enter the house. Luckily they didn't build do the building closet here. We caught it in just in time. Oh, the shower was a little bit, the wall in the shower was a little bit small. Um, you can see, hold on a second. The shower was a little too small here, so we had them chop that side up and make the shower bigger. Of course, that'll have a window as well. And that'll be your sink and your toilet on that side. Lots of space in there. Again, we enclosed that window right there, the same like on the other side. We'll have put a built-in desk right there. There will be the bed, and on this side of the wall is going to be a wardrobe where we currently have in the cottage. Maybe a small TV on this wall right here. We'll see. Here, this is as you're walking into the open floor plan right here. This will be the wall for the big refrigerator. We will put it over there. And then over here you have your cabinets. You'll have cabinets going down here. Big window right there. A built-in oven, microwave, range hood, gas stove, gas. They don't have natural gas here in Thailand. It's propane tanks, which will be stored outside in like a small shed. And then we have the window right there as well as there. And a sliding glass door heading out to the pool. Over here, we will have a, like a living room space, big window. TV on the wall right there. There was a wall right here in this area. We decided we're not going to put a wall. We are just going to make these columns here look really good. Uh, we'll have a half a wall right down here. About the same level as this right here and it'll be a granite top laid right there and then here this area will be like a love seat going against that little wall yeah you can see from in here the walls are going up good and then in here is the master bedroom they're working in here so i'm not going to get too much in the way And 
and in the master bedroom we will have the big open sliding glass door this wall will be another layer of brick to make it flat to get those columns out of the way to take those columns out of the way just make it flat all the way across lose a few inches which is not bad but then it'll be a smooth smooth wall surface which we want So there's our door frame, they'll close that in up there. Let me see if I can get in here. Okay. So here we have the walk-in closet. I can't get around there too good, but anyway. Here's a walk-in closet. All of this, this little area is gonna have a nice big window and then a place for a gift to put a little table for her makeup and everything. It's going to be really good. And then here is the master bathroom. The big, the big shower right there. That's the larger shower, a little window right up there. This will be our little sink area. And then our toilet right there. So it's coming along. We are getting ready to go to uh, Home Pro to look at some gutters. The reason we are looking at the gutters is obviously the water coming from the roof into the pool now obviously we don't want that when it when the pool is ready and done we don't want rain water going in there we can shock it but we don't want to have to do that so we will get some decent sized gutters for right there and hopefully that eliminate that problem it's coming along Everyone working hard today. We closed this area right here. And these are going to be high ceilings. We'll have some vents on each set corner of the house as well, as well as the R38 insulation that we'll put in in the ceiling itself. The roof is very big on this. As you can see, all of that will be covered well. The one thing we like about the uh, slope roof is later on we will put solar panels on it. Folks been asking that. Yes, the plan is to add solar panels and it works perfect on this roof because heading this way is east. Those cinder blocks over there will be used for the back fence area when they close that in with cinder blocks and also for the remainder of this side wall. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the subscribe and watching our video. Love you all. Bye bye. Ka -ha. Bye.